Wait is on now to see which Democrat may emerge to challenge Kelly Leffler for the U.S. Senate seat she will take next month. She is the Republican who replaced Senator Johnny Isaacson and who will run in a special election next fall. 11 Live's Doug Richards is taking the pulse of the Democrats who think they can finally compete next year here, Doug. Well, Cheryl Zell Miller was the last Democrat to win a U.S. Senate election in Georgia nearly 20 years ago, and no Democrat has emerged publicly yet to challenge Kelly Loeffler. We talked to one potential challenger today. DeKalb County CEO Michael Thurman was with DeKalb law enforcement personnel at an event today. He has been in public life for 33 years, and he hasn't decided whether to make the U.S. Senate race against Loeffler. He knows Leffler will be well-funded. An insider in her camp tells me she will commit $20 million of her husband and her personal fortune to fund her special election campaign next year. She has never run for office before. Thurman, by contrast, is one of two men who were the last Democrats elected in Georgia statewide in 2006. Thurmond was re-elected as labor commissioner then. He was not ready to commit today when we talked. No, it's humbling that anyone would think that uh, I was qualified or had more or less earned the right to be considered, but we'll see how it pans out. Thurmond is one of several Democrats who are among those getting nudged to consider making a run for that Senate seat. We will show you some of those other potential candidates at six in what promises to be a ridiculous year for politics with two U.S. Senate seats on the ballot in Georgia plus a presidential race of some consequence, Cheryl. And perhaps a record-breaking year in terms of money spent by well, all indications. Every time, right? Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Every time. Thank you, Doug.